But anyway, I'm gonna, some of the stuff that they, they used and uh, they, they traded for it was the, the fur beaver and the uh, raccoon. And so naturally they used everything they could get a hold of, so they made a good hat out of it. A winter hat. So then after the traders start coming down, then they start trading for a lot of more buckskin. And if you've ever worn leather, it's cold in the winter and it's hot in the summer. So as soon as they could, they start trading for cotton, calico cotton, and for wool. You know, a lot more comfortable to wear, com more warm and everything else. And so they, they traded and they made, one of the items they made was their winter coat out of it. This is a, a Pendleton blanket that was cut and made into a, a capote. So you kind of had a, a tie. They never had any buttons or zips, so they had a tie and tie it shut. There you go. Then, um, Of course, they didn't have any matches or anything like that to make fire. So everything was, all their fire was started with flint and steel. So they'd get a steel striker and uh, they'd get some of this uh, knife for river flint, create your spark, catch it on your char cloth, start your fire up. And uh, another thing they used their flint for was arrows, arrowheads. Flint arrowheads. These were all handmade. These were made up in this area. This is turkey feathers. And a lot of times they used uh, prairie rose bush for shafts. And they'd use flint for the arrowheads. And then they'd use sinew to tie it all together with. So. They did trade and carry black powder rifles and black powder pistols. Usually the same caliber, so you don't have to carry round ball for your pistol and separate ones for your rifle. They're usually the same caliber, so you interchange, everything interchange. You powder and round ball and everything kind of interchange. So you, that way there you don't have to carry quite so much stuff. But there was, no, they always trade, like I said, they traded for, well, this was one, one of their possible sacks, possible bag, they'd call it. You'd put this on in the morning, and you'd load it up, anything you could possibly need that day, okay? You'd carry a, a ball starter for your rifle, powder measure built right into it. Um, carry some round ball, bullets, carry some caps. They, they carried their fire starting kit. You got a flint in here and some steel in here. You could break your sparks, start your fires. They'd carry a knife. Got a lot of the animals they got, they didn't carry them back whole. Wherever they got them, they just skinned them right there. Just carried the hides back. And they'd carry a tomahawk or a hatchet. Stakes, drive stakes. And they had a lot of other little stuff too that they little bags. It's a turtle. It's made into a bag. Of course you carry a powder horn for your powder. They carry another bag. A lot of times it. Oops, I did The tangle here. So some of these were actually trade items too. They would make these up, and then when they go back to rendezvous, they trade them, trade them back for whatever. Put whatever you want in there. Snap it shut, and then you gotta tie it shut. 
And of course your traps and tobacco. Just about it. They all carried tobacco and stuff though. This was some of the stuff that they actually carried around with them all year long. The traps and, and main stuff like that they would cash. That you didn't have to drag them along. A lot of them went with horses too. They'd have a, a pack horse or maybe a saddle horse with them. So they'd go. And the ones that didn't uh, mainly travel on foot. <laughs>